thanks so right. much. Now, Speaking of London. Yeah, there's a big story out there. Uh, in the era before megaphones, there were things called town criers, right? <laughs> and it was the cry that made headlines around the world. <laughs> Well, hear ye, hear ye. It was all a joke. He wasn't booked. The royal crier announcing the birth of the future king of England, he was a fake. So why did he do it, even though he is a legitimate town crier, yeah. and how did he get away with it? Guess who joins us? Town crier Tony Appleton. Tony, for my money, you're the best town crier I've ever heard. But why did you think you could pull this off? Well, I've been planning this for two weeks. Two weeks, like a military operation. I watched them people sitting out there for four weeks. I said, there's no way the town crier is going to do that to do it. So uh, I got myself all um, suited up and booked into a hotel in London. And then I had a little tip off. The baby was born. And so then I got in the cab. <laughs> I said to the driver, take me to the hospital where the, prince has, the new prince has been born. They took me up there like I was an official. I got out of the car. Everybody clapped, and then I done this cat Nelson. Nobody said a word. So were you, <laughs> were you out in front of the hospital? Yeah. Yes, I, I done the cry on the pavement originally, and then the world's press said, get on the steps. So I got on the steps and done it. <laughs> and absolutely no repercussions, right? Even though you were not invited to be the town crier, and you became the official town crier, no, no repercussions from the palace? Not, not at the moment, but I think they might send me to the tower. <laughs> <laughs> the Tower of London, where they used to chop Tony, people's what heads is, off. What is your background? Why did, I mean, you are a town crier, just not there. I'm a, I'm a town crier for 25 years. I, wor I worked in London. I led the London parade, but nobody invited me to the, to, the, uh, to the birth. I was at the royal wedding as a town crier on a ladder, but every time I turn up unannounced. Well, how, does it, how does it make you feel that, that you were able to fool almost... Everyone, including the world media, that you actually had been sent over there ostensibly by the Queen. <laughs> well, you know, I look. The, I must say, I look the part. You see the picture of me, haven't you? You know what I mean? Oh, you look great. <laughs> you look great. Now, now, Tony, here's the thing: you should have been booked. You were perfect. You did it. We need a town crier. It brought us back to the time in which kings mattered and had power. So you fit perfect in this. But when you sat there and were reading the scroll, was there actually words on that scroll? Oh, yeah, I had a, I had a royal uh, correspondent from the Times, retired, who'd done the words for me. So then we typed them out and then stuck them on the scroll. Well, you know, Tony, it was absolutely brilliant because everybody wanted to know what the baby looked like. We didn't have any pictures. So instead, they put the next best thing. You, <laughs> you're, you've been on newspapers all around the world. Can we hear once again the town crier's laugh? What was that? <laughs> i tell you what, I've got another proclamation here for you. You got what? You got what? I got another proclamation for you here, which you're always oh, going to yes, do. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. But, we uh, need to wake up. Better to go. I'm going to do it for you now, okay? okay. Please do. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have announced their newborn son is to be called George Alexander Louis. He will be known as His Royal Highness, Prince George of Cambridge. God save the Queen! Fantastic! Good job! Are you out in the street right now, or are you doing that in a quiet room? <laughs> T Tony, by the way, what town are you the town crier of? Say again? What town are you the town crier of? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, and Chelmsford in Essex. Oh, okay, good. I'm on the front page of the local paper today, all over there. I got news for you. You're on the front page of papers all around the right. world. <laughs> All right. Tony, a fantastic job. Thank you so much for joining us today. I love the show. Thanks for being here. Right. Uh, we'll you. see you soon. Uh, right. Tony also owns a nursing home. Is that right? He does, he yeah. Runs, runs a nursing home? Yeah, no, actually owns it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. All right.